Hey everyone, it's Paul here with Toolmetrics and I have another deep dive tool examination for you. If you haven't seen these from me before, I like to take a real in-depth look at a tool, show you the key features, measure anything possible, hence the name tool metrics uh, and today I'm looking at the WEN 4214 drill press uh, that model number I think is a little deceiving because it makes it sound like a 14 inch drill press it's actually a 12 inch drill press 12 inch drill press is uh, the size that has, I've found works best for me in my small woodworking shop uh, I've had a 12 inch drill press an older version of this similar design uh, for probably 15 years or so now and I found it to have kind of the right amount of power for me and uh, yet small enough to where it's a bench design and I can use it uh, kind of move it around as needed it's pretty heavy about 80 pounds but still has kind of the portability I don't really have a dedicated spot that I want to put uh, that I want to use up uh, with a freestanding drill press so this is uh, just <clears throat> this size is just about right for me so uh, what I'm gonna do is walk through feature by feature tell you what I like tell you what I don't like um, and I'll answer any of your questions that you may have down below also I have a link to this out on Amazon where you can get it for just under 300 bucks uh, so uh, without further ado I'll dive in and let's walk through feature by feature. The 4214 has a 12 inch swing which means there's six inches between the post and the center of the drill bit. There's a three and an eighth inch travel which means you can drill a hole that deep. Uh, it has a two thirds horsepower induction motor uh, which I find to be ample. I measure it at a um, five amp draw which is uh, exactly what they spec it at. Uh, setup was really simple it only took me about 15 minutes from out of the box to drill in holes and I also found the instructions to be really super clear which is rare in tools these days so that was a breath of fresh air. The standout feature on this drill press is the variable speed control that is adjusted on the fly while the machine is running. To adjust the speed you just move the speed lever on the side and all the magic happens under the hood. It seems to work exactly like a CVT transmission like I have on a couple of my Subarus. The pulleys expand and contract to change the effective gear ratio. It's really slick. The stated RPM range is 580 to 3200, <clears throat> but I'm measuring it down into the uh, low 500s, like 510. I'd like to see it go a bit slower than that for drilling steel, but it's a great range for woodworking in general purpose, and I think it'll meet my needs just fine. I don't really like the growly sound that it makes very much. It's louder than my old Delta, uh, <clears throat> which was a traditional belt-driven drill press, but I'm sure I'll get used to it and it doesn't sound uh, like it's causing any problems. Along with the variable speed control, you get a clear RPM indicator so that you know exactly how fast you're spinning. I checked it with a tachometer and it was within one or so percent of the tachometer measurement. That's pretty good. There's a bit of a delay in getting an accurate reading, but it gets there eventually and since I kept my old drill press at a single speed about 99% of the time, it doesn't really bother me that much. The 4214 has adjustable laser sights to show you exactly where the drill bit will meet the workpiece. Mine was set accurately right out of the box, but if you need to make an adjustment, it's pretty straightforward. This is a very handy feature. There's also a built-in work light. It really lights up the workpiece, and I like the location of the LED light quite a bit. The two-third horsepower motor provides plenty of power for most of my needs. Drilling normal size holes with a sharp bit, no problem. If you want to chuck up a drum and do some sanding, there's plenty of power for that too. If you use a huge Forstner bit like this one, it'll bog down a little bit, but if you take your time, take it easy, it'll handle it just fine. The table is pretty heavy duty and holds up solidly at angles up to 45 degrees in either direction. It's too small for woodworking, but Wen also sells an auxiliary expansion table for 50 bucks, and I've ordered one. Look for a review of that coming on this channel when I get it and set it up. If you want to stick with using the stock table, there's a handy extension that slides out and locks into place and does a nice job of supporting longer work pieces. There's a very handy mechanism to set depth of plunge for your drilling operations. Just set the depth that you want up to 3 and 1 8 inch and lock it in. I believe that I'll use this feature a lot. I measured runout in a couple places, one at the spindle, uh, and I found only about one one thousandth of an inch runout, which is impressive. Uh, then I chucked up a machined precision steel rod, uh, and even on that, I only found two one thousandths of an inch, which is really in the sweet spot. I don't expect anything better than that on a $300 drill press that I'll use mainly for woodworking. The fit and finish of this drill press exceed my expectations. Everything is solid, tight, deburred, movements are smooth with no catches. It's everything that I expect in a drill press in this price category and more. 
Well, I guess that's about all I have to say about my new drill press, the Wen 4214. I pointed out a few downsides along the way, but overall, I think it's a winner. Uh, plenty of features, plenty of power, um, some really neat innovations since my last drill press purchase uh, you know, quite a while ago. So if you have any questions, please feel free to ask those down below, uh, and I'm happy to answer anything that I can. And if you found this information useful, please click like, uh, and please subscribe to the Toolmetrics channel and come back for more woodworking, DIY, and tool-related videos. And if you are interested in buying one of these, I'll have the link down below. And by purchasing it through that link, you help support this channel. So I appreciate that. Thank you very much for watching.